so much for uh, joining us this week on the YouTube channel. We would like to introduce you to a girl called Nombomelelo Fofa Mamkwati. She's an incredible artist. Um, she's got a wonderful, very inspiring story. And we just want to say thank you very much for looking into the Black Girls Rock series. Um, check it out. Enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe. For me to grow up with different families, it was in a sense of um, not having like my parents around me to, to raise me. Because you, you, your parents passed away when, when you were very, very young, right? Yeah, and, and also... You were, about, you were a baby, actually. Yes, that's what I was told, that uh, my mother left me in Cape Town when I was uh, three months old. And she, I think she went to Pretoria or Joburg, I'm not sure. And so she left me with my, with my grandmother, so she took over. And then my aunt came in, and my other aunt. And then I started being like, it's like I was a monopoly of a human being transported to this family, to that family, to this family. And that makes you like have different cultures to learn from, adapt to. Yes. And don't know, you end up not knowing where, like, where do you fit in? How do you define yourself? Which language should you, should you use? I found it so hard to fit in and um, to relate to certain things that I had to do because then this one is saying I must live like this and then when I go to this other family I have to change and now I have to adapt because I have to adapt to how they live, their yes. lifestyle. So that was um, very difficult for me. I feel like I'm part of the reason why I wrote the lyrics to, to Black Girls was, was a response to realizing all of the... Um, the things that had kind of kept me shut down as as a kid that, that that were forced on me because of you know family structure because of societal structures um, that I had to that I had to push against in order to to be myself. Mm -hmm. So all of the ways that I was trying to be me, you know, wearing my hair the way I wanted, you know, listening to kind, the kind of music I wanted to, um, just being being free in mm -hmm. in my body. As opposed to how I was told I was supposed to look and be, because you you're talking about growing up in different in different cultures within South Africa, mm -hmm. all black black people. Yes, and this and and we know we've we've got this notion that black people have the same experience, you know, um, and and that to be black is like it's one like homogenous thing. Mm -hmm. What can you say to that? It's it's not the same. Because I I stayed mostly in 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 the how black people would say in the suburb side, and but then I found more freedom when I went to Ekasi when I wanted to go to Ekasi, and my aunt would always reserve me and and, and, and stop me from going. You know, yeah. if I wanted to visit my family, in the location. And yeah, then she would say, let's say if I go on a Friday, she'd make sure she comes pick me up. First thing in the morning on a Saturday, mm -hmm. I wouldn't spend the whole entire weekend there because she would say, no, you're going to end up doing drugs like them. What if you get pregnant? All your cousins are pregnant or they had babies at a young age. So you're going to follow and stuff like that, you know. So she didn't trust me enough to explore things on my own. Yeah. I wasn't allowed to have black friends. Interesting. So every time my black friends would come and visit me, she would say like, you shouldn't bring friends like this. You don't know where they come from or what culture they're from or what if they're using muti or something, you know. But then as soon as I brought like a white friend, she'd be so happy. Oh, my God. So like wow. inviting and like she wouldn't mind if we stay out for long, you know. Um, and then I had to understand maybe it's because she was one of the few black students back in the days of UCT. And so the system is still in here. But then, at the same time, I couldn't understand because it, it, it blocked me from engaging with my friends that I wanted to belong to. Yeah. Because they'd say, no, you're not black enough. Or you, you, you just don't have the thing that we have. You know? So I had yeah. to work extra hard to fit in, to be within my people that I can say, no, I have friends. So it wasn't easy. I always loved sketching. But then, um, as soon as I entered a painting class, that's where I found myself, and I was free, and I was more relaxed, and I thought that that's, that's where I could see my parents and, and my family. Huh. So I would even spend more time there, have like extra classes. Like, I would find an excuse, excuse of not going home yes. to be there at school, because then 
I was feeling more welcomed and more not judged. That's where I, I became myself. That's where even my teacher didn't have to say much um, to understand what I'm trying to say. Yes. They could just see it from what I'm making at that time. Yeah, my aunt wanted me to be to study commercial law and I tried it but then I dropped out. It, just, it wasn't for you. Yeah, yeah, and then I decided to take myself to school and UNISO was my only option. Um, I did and I excelled and yeah. Brilliant. I currently work for an organization called Project Playground. It's in Guguletu. A lot of people ask me why did you decide to work in the township? It's for the love of conveying the power that you have within you to another young black child. I'm trying to like um, boost their self-esteem yes. through art therapy, get to the emotions, the real core emotions. Show them that art is love. There is love in art. There's a lot of love. But then it's expressed differently. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. So that's, that's why I wanted to, um, that's why I want to work with these kids because every child has that potential in them. They just need that, that, that one person to like just guide them, mold them, hold their hand with them and, and, and go with them through the process. Say that, you know, just be true to yourself. Being true to yourself, it, it makes you want to be brave and try certain things and not be apologetic about it. And also being your number one fan for like before anyone else because I supported myself and I always motivated myself before someone could come and say, you can do it. I already told myself that I can.